Hi guys, welcome to another vlog here on Argent Rock. Today we're going to discuss what happens when plant poaching becomes out of hand. What will happen to the plants in the wilderness? So let's find out. So I'm going to show you an article on the internet about a Chinese flower that evolves to turn invisible and escape humans. So there's this flower that's harvested regularly for its healing properties in China. It's called the Fritillaria de la Valle. So it's this greenish yellow flower. So it's very ornamental, but uh, it's harvested not because of its its appearance as an ornamental plant but because of its healing properties so for thousands of years actually it says here for more than 2,000 years 2,000 years later the bulb of the species has been used to treat ailments of the lungs with high prices in recent years leading to an increase in harvesting so it's been harvested for 2,000 years and because of the fact that uh, the plants which are harvested are colored green and stand out in the environment that's what the harvesters pick so for many years this has happened and they they keep picking the bright green plants and eventually all that's left are the dull and gray varieties so it's like the, the bright plants were taken away so they don't pass on their genes, their bright characteristics, and all that's left are the dull and gray plants, like the picture on the right. So this is something that can happen to a lot of ornamental plants, especially in the wilderness areas in different parts of the world. So here in the Philippines, uh, there's this problem of plant poaching. As many of you have known that in 2020, when at the peak of the first uh, pandemic lockdowns, the popularity of gardening and plants increased so much so that the prices of certain rare plants increased and the poaching also increased. So a lot of people went into the mountains, harvested rare plants to sell in the cities. So if this continues, what's going to happen is that most of the beautiful plants that we see being sold on the streets, uh, in halamanans, are going to eventually turn gray because as a tendency, people will pick the brightest and most colorful plants from the wilderness. And so those won't be able to pass on their genes in the mountains and what's going to be left behind will be those invisible to the human eye. So those that, that are not bright, brightly colored, like this. So most of the plants will be invisible. So it's a sad thing because that's not the way plants would normally evolve. So there's a reason why these plants are brightly colored but because of the intervention of people it's it's going to happen eventually so that's the reason why we should leave plants in the wilderness alone they're not supposed to be picked and sold in the local markets they can be used as medicine but they shouldn't be harvested so much so that it will affect the way they, they look their appearance the, the local ecosystems so we have to be careful and we have to make the effort to save those plants so that's all and i hope you like this video and do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you very much so guys i hope you enjoyed that video and i hope it gave you an insight on how on why it is important not to buy poached plants so when you buy plants make sure they're from a reputable source so see you around next time.